Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and look at this idyllic starting location with geothermal fissures and what's that? The River Clyde? Loch Mora? We're playing in Scotland! Huh, how did that happen? Now not to get you all excited but this is going to be the last series that I play on Civ 6 before the big reveal, the big project we've been working on, the big project that my channel supporters have been helping on if you fancy getting involved and plotting planning the next few series then don't forget you can always support me on coffee on patreon it's been a lot of fun getting this ready but we shan't get ahead of ourselves today we're playing as scotland on something that i've been looking forward to playing for a long time it's saf's britain and ireland a huge map of just the uk that's right get lost rest of the world if you're not in the uk then you don't count for anything it's a huge map, so I've thrown in 12 players and a bunch of city-states, I believe 24. These are the details. It's reliant on Saf's Britain and Ireland mod. Now, Saf or Skylar, you've popped into the Discord. Hello again, your maps are brilliant. I'm a big fan. I shouldn't get carried away, but I am a big fan. You'll need yet not another maps pack as well to make this one work, but come to Discord. I keep the save file and all the instructions for how to set this up if you want to have a go. It's a true start location map, but there are only a few UK centric civs. So what I've done is I forced Scotland, myself, to start in its correct position. I believe Old Bruce starts in Perth. I might be wrong, but I believe it's in Perth on the TSL map. So sort of like Aberdeen is sort of up here, Glasgow is sort of around here, Edinburgh is just down here. So yeah, we should have a lot of Scotland. And this map's big, right? Like only Scotland is above me and I can't see the top of the map. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we're the only people that have started in Scotland. That'll be the best thing. Our mission is simple. We colonize across Scotland. We make it a beautiful Scottish enlightenment hub of happiness and science and production and more importantly a lack of English. God, independence. Remember everybody, Hadrian's Wall. It wasn't to keep the Scottish out, it was to keep the Scots in. <laughs> and if anybody comes across the border we will smite them down but otherwise relations with the rest of the UK I consider ourselves being fairly gentle. Well, for a while. Until, you know, Scotland gets ahead of itself and starts to think about declaring independence and leaving the UK and that's really really sad but we will get ahead of ourselves. Scotland are really really good fun to play by the way. Golf courses give you plus two amenities. I always forget that, they're really good. Highlanders can be forgotten about because they are rubbish. <laughs> I mean, no, they're not too bad. They're just, unfortunately, it's a ranger, which happens to be a pretty particularly useless unit. But there we go. Scottish Enlightenment, however, is an amazing ability that gives you 5% science and production in a happy city. Uh, it gives you plus one scientist point per campus, plus one engineer point per industrial zone. And if your city is ecstatic, then everything I've just said gets doubled. So keeping every city with plus five immunities is very important. We can also declare a war of liberation after gaming the defensive tactics civic. Wars of liberations are funny old things. We'll talk about those in a second. If you do manage one, you get all down under the Australian boost where you actually get a Persian boost as well. You get two extra movement and 10, 100%, sorry, extra production for the next 10 turns. It's a tricky one, Wars of Liberation. It is a very, very tricky one. Effectively, what you've got to do is wait until one of your friends or allies has a city captured and then you can go to war. If you do that, as I say, the production bonus is crazy, but it can be difficult to pull off. However, we will try. Effectively, what we are gonna do though is set ourselves up to be generating a bunch of scientists and more importantly, engineer points. Early game scientist rush. I mean, if you're playing a multiplayer, Scotland, you know, a brilliant. On the deity AI, depends on who's in the game. You get the, the Mayans, you get Korea, you get Babylon, you get even Brazil and you know it can be quite tough as you can see i've uh, geared up astrology for a couple of reasons number one i'm going to use astrology to generate a holy site based pantheon that gives us two amenities and two uh, housing so that should help to keep our cities happy i'm going to take a religion and i'm going to give myself either something that generates science or that generates more amenities i might give myself a holy building that gives me more amenities as well so uh, you can use a religion to get a bunch and then we should be able to get Crusade if we have to get a little bit angry. Now, I know a little bit about this map, I'll warn you now, because it's the UK. And what the mod maker has done is put in a lot of the other world wonders into the UK for things that kind of look a little bit similar. So I can tell you now, 
Ben Nevis, which is sort of up here somewhere, is um, Matterhorn, I think. So we're going to go and find that and that should boost the astrology for us. Otherwise, whilst moving potentially could be fun, it's not the TSL way. So we will start in Perth as it was intended. And I think instead of going, do we go for a scout start or do we go for a warrior start? I think we're going to go for a double scout start to see what happens. As mentioned, my warrior is going to be heading just directly north to see if we can go and find Ben Nevis. Once we've done that, I'll send a scout directly south to go and see who our neighbours are. Hopefully, we have a little bit of a gap between ugh, the English, dear oh dear, fingers crossed they'll stay far, far away from the beautiful Scottish lands, but we'll see. We will see. You never quite know what the map is going to throw at you. Look at that. Culture on the horizon and something that just says horn in the edge. It can only mean one thing. It is the Matterhorn, or as we like to call it, Ben Nevis. Let me ask there we go. Thing. Boosted. But that isn't all, because I have a little bit of a surprise for you in this map. I added one more mod into this game, something that should be a lot of fun. The Knights of Solomon. Now this is another secret society by Fuzzle. Hello Fuzzle, again, I love your stuff. We've played a couple of these before. We played the Starborn Emissaries, who were the aliens. We played them with Germany. They were really good fun. And we've also played the Buccaneers a few times, the Pirates with... Here we played them with Spain, I think we played them with Indonesia, we played them a lot. The Knights of Solomon are really good. They use war and faith to do very fun things. And I was like, well, I fancy a game where we utilize holy sites a little bit, and I didn't fancy playing a necessary holy site-centric sieve, like, you know, the Kemens or Russia or someone like that. I fancy having a little, like, a go at something else. So yeah, this should be fun. Alpine Training, by the way, it's a really good wonder, this one basically makes all of your units gain plus three combat strength when fighting in hills and also lets them uh, travel faster as well so basically i now have like a scout warrior which is really really good and that's the mayans oh no okay right well they oh they're close oh no Oh no, the Scots have got a border war coming on, and unfortunately, they get plus five combat strength around there in city. That, that's not good. Right, quick, send the delegations. We will force them into a reluctant friendship as quickly as we can. Now, my first governor, I'm going to actually just hold. You can see we're playing with barb clans and secret societies on today. I like barb clans. It fills out a map. Basically, all the Bard clans will gather in the areas of the map that people haven't settled, and you'll find that it just sort of does really well. So I'm going to send this scout down south, um, go and see what we can find with the Mayans. But yeah, I really, really want them to stay on side. So we're going to wait until we get um, the secret society we want for our first governor. There is astrology. So we can put down our holy site. I believe the best place we want to put this is basically on somewhere that gives us either a river or a sea adjacency because those are the two pantheons that we could go for because we're playing as we normally do with religion expanded it adds tons more beliefs it adds tons more religions it's really good fun so whilst this is a plus two this plus one might be a little bit better for us because it has both sea and river adjacency so we can guarantee that We'll get one of the pantheons. I don't know which one will be taken first. That's the problem. Otherwise, you can see we do have a delightful geothermal fissure together with some mountains. So you can see already we have two plus three areas. With a nice diplomatic quarter, they both become, not diplomatic quarter, sorry, government plaza, they both become plus five. So we should be able to take advantage of that. And actually looking at the settlement map, I could probably put a border city in here to stop the Mayans from traveling north, assuming they don't forward settle me. My strategy here is going to be basically reliant on them not getting too aggressive with me, but we'll we'll see how that works. We'll see how that works. I'm going to have to go mining first because I need to chop that forest down and then we'll beeline for the campuses. The Knights of Solomon, though, can be found in barb encampments and tribal huts. So that's what I'm looking for. And so far, we haven't had much luck with either. I've had one tribal hut and it wasn't in that. So yeah, we'll have to keep on searching. Keep on looking. Okay, there's one there, just above Perth. It's always where you least expect it to be. It is right at wisdom. the beginning. God, King, discipline. As much as I like having survey with scouts, it's not worth it because you'll find a single barb, they'll kill you, and all that experience you've got will be for nothing. Bologna. 
Okay, now that's fun. That's really, really fun. They give you extra great people points. That syncs really well with Scotland. I think I will go for a Gogi because I don't trust the Mayans not to attack me. So building a Slinger Rush to keep myself safe, I think will be pretty decent an idea. Look at the space we've got to the north of us though. That is really cool. I really, really hope we don't have anyone up there. Sanguine Pact, not what we're looking for. Keep on searching. He did give me a builder though. That's handy. That's really handy. So we can actually put down a campus pretty quickly. We also have citrus here and tobacco. So irrigation boosting is going to be pretty not crucial. But we want to go for that as quick as we can. Come on, get lucky. Nope, craftsmanship boost. Actually, that is quite helpful for us. We'll take it. You can see Perth has quite limited land in this direction. But look, imagine building a bridge over here. I mean, a bridge near Edinburgh. Uh, <laughs> Who would do such a thing? There's foreign trade as well. Oh no. Oh no. Have we found the dreaded? <gasps> we have. It's England. Oh, we can't. We must not. Retreat units, retreat. Okay, right. Two tribal huts we've just found now. Two separate tribal me. huts. Come on. You've got to have at least one luck. Candy. I've just met Candy. Okay, that's fine. And another builder. But did I find the knights? Nope. No, we did not. I even have a mod enabled to guarantee that we find them, and it hasn't found them yet, so <laughs> never mind. Candy will, however, give me an envoy with a great profit, which is really handy. Oh, like taking candy from an Englishman. Starsworth, do not approach my lands. What? Hang on. Lady Six Guy is disturbed by you settling near one of her cities. I started here. I didn't settle near you. The cheek. The absolute cheek. Okay, right. Someone is going for a religion. Interesting, 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 interesting. I think I'm going to try and get a shrine up nice and quickly. And I think I'm going to do some chip chopping to rush that out. I don't forget, each barb clan has a different favorite unit that it can give me. I can get a galley from the one that's just appeared to my right. Oh, bloody hell. A warrior as well. That might actually be a pretty good defensive thing. And oh, they've settled right on my border here. Uh, not connected to fresh water. That's the lovely thing about having the Mayans next to you. They'd never go for fresh water like normal people. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Preslav. Okay, I found a Preslav. That gives me an extra production for building units. Interesting. That will help with a bit of a slinger spam. And a CAD. A CAD gives me melee and anti cavalry units doing full damage to city walls. That is very handy for an early game rush on the Mayans. I'm thinking a crusade barb inspired rush here. They've even left a city on the coast so I could get a single galley just to, to beat it up. It's not a bad idea actually. The Knights of Solomon, we found them finally in Fez of all places. What are they doing in Fez? Wearing cool hats, no doubt. Okay, perfect. Right, we've got a lot of city states to the north. That is very, very handy, but we can now join the Knights of Solomon. What do they do, you say? Well, we'll find out. The Ancient Order of Knights welcomes you into their ranks as you swear by their holy vows. Your faith of your people has never been stronger, and now it promises to bring you renewed strength and purpose. Side by side, you will show the world one true path to eternal salvation, the way of Haggis. So what do they do, I hear you ask? Well, you get one profit point and one great general point per turn. It's very handy. Your apostles gain the orator promotion, which I believe lets them spread a couple more times. Shrines with a, sh or cities with a shrine, um, plus one trade route capacity if there is not already a market or lighthouse in the city. That's right, my holy sites are going to give trade routes. I don't need to build harbors or commercial hubs. Now don't forget, it's not an additional trade route, it's just, if I have a holy site and I don't have the other thing. So, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's overpowered, but it is incredibly versatile. The best thing I can do is not to settle. I need to build that army as quick as possible. I think getting a slinger, a warrior, all this stuff is going to be much more important for me. Uh, I want to get that early game rush sorted if I can. Meet somebody else as well, make a friend. Make a couple of friends, trade with them. That'll give me the gold to go after the Mayans, which would be pretty good. But they've got, yeah, they're just, they're normally difficult to kill near their capital. That's the problem. That plus five combat strength is very, very tricky. I'm going to have to use Crusade, I think, to get through this one. Stonehenge and the Ottoman Tanki, both built no on turn 26. Belimey. And, okay, what Pantheon are we going to get? Are we going to have the choice? Um, yes, we do. Okay, so here's the choice. We want the two amenities ones. Those are the only two we're going to be looking at right now. Plus two amenities. 
and plus two housing from holy sites adjacent to a river. Uh, and we have a lot of rivers. There's some areas of the map that isn't so full of them, but Scotland is very river filled. Or we go for primordial waters, plus two immunities and plus two housing from holy sites adjacent to a coast or a lake. Again, a lot of lakes and a lot of coast. I think I'm going to want to build them inland as much as possible, so I think rivers might be my option here. Seems to be a little bit more expansive, and I'm thinking if I build them inland, I can sink them a little bit more with industrial zones, so that could be good. So I'm gonna go for my gut and go river goddess. I think both could be argued for. We'll see. Although actually the Mayans, ah, oh, they do have a river below them, but yeah, I think, I think river goddess is going to be handier, so we will do that for now. Right, Buddhism's already been taken by the way, feed the world. That was the Stonehenge that's been put down. I'm actually thinking Bologna. If I put an envoy in Bologna and then put Amani here, we should be able to levy their military. That could be a good clever use of my gold as well. I need a lot more early game gold. A lot more. I think going for irrigation to get my luxuries and trying to seize the gold from the Mayans might be a good strategy here. Urban planning, a gogi. Let's get this slinger spam sorted as quickly as we can. And actually, no, quickly. For now, first of all, I'm going to stop doing that. Uh, oh no, we're gonna, yeah, no, I will slinger spam until I can chop this down and then I'll put the library in. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's better? Or do I save the builder charger? No, I, I, I'm more likely to get another builder from another tribal hut, so we'll go for that for now. There's another one here. Warriors, we're just looking for powerful units. As soon as a barb clan offers me a swordsman, we're going to get very excited very quickly. State workforce, let's go through that extra governor as quickly as we can. I think getting a Marni in and then claiming the city-state army. God, there's so many uses of my gold here. There's so many uses. I don't know why. So I bought that tile. So I'm going to have to use it now. I'm going to have to use it. Um, so I will, yeah, I'll do it to get the campus in. I think that's the best thing to do. Actually, do I want to do much of a slinger spam into archers? I'm going to have enough gold com competition here that I think I'm going to want to go warriors. Yeah, I'll go, I'm going to go warriors from this point onwards. I think that's going to be a better use of my gold. Oh, come here. Okay, that is a useful person to meet. And then, no, oh, Mount Rariyama. So that is, uh, I believe, Malam in Yorkshire. They put that on and it's kind of, I see what they're doing there. Writing it's quite cool. Where is it? Where is it put? Is, is it kind of like here? I, I, I forget where it's gone actually. Oh no, it's literally here, Mount Moriyama. So they've settled a city right by it. Oh, what a pickup. That is a beautiful place. God's country indeed. Oh wow, look at that. The slinger just got almost one shot by that barb. That's no fun. Let's quickly get rid of this warrior and then I will go a chip chop and put down the campus. It takes six turns, but it's gonna be great because I'll get the era score, I'll get the extra science. It'll help me just to have a go at the Mayans. Um, oh, they don't like me at all. And I have nothing to trade with them. Oh, so annoying. There are a lot of barbed boats out there. A lot. Oh dear. And uh, they've already gone for 20 strength in these cities. It's okay, it's okay. We're not gonna rush this. I believe we're gonna have the force, we just need to hold our time. Just fight in a clever way. And the Scottish will prevail. We always do, against superior odds. Now, as I say, I kind of want to keep this clan alive, in theory, because they are able to, I can buy a galley from them for 155. So I'm going to actually raid the clan, let the unit reappear, and then I'll come get it in a second. Okay, so another spearman has appeared. Fine, that is annoying, but acceptable we can go and attack it and see if we can get the kill nice and quickly remember that we do have a couple of pieces of snow in scotland not many but enough to be getting the amazon scott center later into the game so remember that might be very handy campus complete done awesome that's brilliant our city isn't happy not happy about anything and are scottish after all but it should be a good enough start for us. I'm just gonna, oh, see, builders are so expensive. I've been looking for a tra the tribal hut, but there have been none. There have been literally no other tribal huts in Scotland. It has been very, what's the opposite of fruitful? It has been fruitless. There has been no fruit, no tangerines at all. And people have gone massively hard on the old scientists, so that's not fun either. Mayans have not gone for a religion yet. That's pretty good news. We like that a lot. Uh, yeah, I'll just continue with my old warrior spam for now. They don't cost any maintenance. I can have as many of them as I want. I think I've actually, have I gone through to Cumbria here? I have. I'm in it. Yay. 
Yep, I think I've met the locals because they're attacking me. Run! Run away! You know, this early game war might not be possible because their garrison strength is already up to Thousands 30. And they have 370 military. I think I might have to call this particular plan uh, quickly and change tactics to go for a settler here because I don't want to get caught out. I think I might have to do just that. We might have to just draw the border and then hopefully be a proud independent Scottish from that point. I think I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm just going to say that this is for now not going to happen. Let's move my troops to the west. We'll close the border down by settling on it. I think that's going to be the best thing for us to do. Yeah, we're going to we're going to commit. We will commit. Even getting a boat past all these barbs would be nigh on impossible. Nigh on impossible. There you go. Get the era score for doing that instead. Not that the era score helps, because I'm going to miss a golden age, unfortunately, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, let's not get that warrior. Let's get the satellite instead and go from there. Besides, waiting on Bologna might be a good idea, because we can wait until it gets swordsmen. Very useful if we can do that. Nice swordsman rush. We better. There's the tribal hut. I knew there was some more around here somewhere. Here is my religion. Let's do this. What are we going to make? This almost looks like the thistle, doesn't it? Almost. It's all about getting something that stacks nicely with Scotland's love of industry and happiness. I'm thinking now, actually, if we go for Heretic Script, this would give us shrines and temples providing science that would help us to tech up a little bit, which would be quite handy. Equally, we could go instead for the plus one amenity for cities with two specialty districts. It's more difficult to get going, but it spreads quite nicely. But I think I'm going to go the Heretic Script because then it will double my science output effectively and whilst I really 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 want to get a holy building right now it's not the time for it instead we need to go for the old faithful crusade and spread it down south as quickly as we can just in case just in case oh let's do it archery and wheel both boosted from one tribal hut there you wait for them and they're worth it yeah that's why they've got such strong cities strong they have economy. galleys it would have been a little bit dangerous to go to them immediately so i'm glad we've done what we've done wonders builders god king it's all fine it's all fine right what are we going to go for i think going for three inquiry is good but i think spreading my religion will give us more um yeah because we're going to send it down south are the mayans building a religion not yet no that's good that's good we like that we like that sort of apathy to the religion game. We can get on board with that. And instead of going straight for Pingala, which I really want to do, we'll go for Amani. We'll stick her in Bologna, and this will give us a massive helpful advantage should we, you know, actually go to war, which is looking more and more likely. If we want to keep our borders safe, we might have to preemptively attack, you know? It's the way things go. Oh, I can buy an eagle warrior from that Barb clan. Ooh, that's quite exciting. That would actually be quite helpful. On um, the Vatican was just below me as well this whole time. If I activate a great person, they spread pressure. Okay. I don't have any great people that I'm likely to get just yet, but I could get a general. If I can get an early game general, that would be handy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One Vatican pop, and I would spread my religion to basically all of their cities at once. So getting a great person has now become, like, a priority. How am I on iron? There's some iron there. Okay, I think Scotland should have plenty of it across it somewhere. One, two. Nope. Two sources. Oh my god, it's all down there. <laughs> okay, no, no points for where the Mayans will be settling soon. Cool map so far though, isn't it? Looks awesome. I think it's really cool. Why have I been waiting to put my envoy down in Bologna? I've sort of half-heartedly been waiting to put down political philosophy, but I realise how far away that is, so I'm actually going to stick... Um, the envoy down now. It does give me just a touch more science. I know I've been waiting probably a little longer to do that than I should have done, but there was a method to it. It was a, a flawed method, but there was a method. So let's reveal what the Mayans have been up to. Fingers crossed, Bologna will give us a little bit of visibility here. Okay, you can see their warriors now. They're not settling towards that direction. We should be able to box them in nicely once we're done here. Um, are we going to try and risk the gold, or should we just destroy the clan immediately? What do we reckon? What do we think is best here? I think going for the gold has got to be the option. So let's do that. Raid clan. We'll pull back. I've got enough units to be safe, I think. I can't believe it. They're, just, they're, they're taking up so much of Scotland. This is all mine. I was going to play so friendly and just hold the Scottish border and be like, yep, it's fine. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just chilling. Don't mind me. No, they've gone too far. 
too far into my lands, my ancestral home. So there is a slinger embarked, which is normally a bad sign. Do I get the missionary and spread my religion, or do I save my faith to try and pick up a great general? Oh, I really, really want to get a great general, but I really want to spread my religion as well. It's all good. It's all good. I want it all. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Plus four spreading at the moment. Just spread my religion just a touch. Just a touch more. So I should get a builder and then we can go for... I uh, get, get one library going and then that'll give me some more scientist points. Or do I just go for holy site prayers? That will give me more faith, actually. And then we'll help to spread my religion faster. So that's not a bad idea. Danger on the doorstep of Perth has been driven away. Oh, those barbarians. They could never survive. They would never survive. I'm going to go settle on this hill, actually. That'll give me just a little bit of extra production. Uh, and it'll be a slightly easier place to defend as well. I actually do have things that I can start selling now. God, that's handy. Um, it would give me two gold per turn. I'd take, uh, or 37 up front. It'd be 20 turns to get that. I often get asked, why do you take the gold up front when it's a slightly less amount? Well, a few reasons. If I'm likely to go to war, then I want to take it up front because I want to make sure that if anybody, uh, if I declare war, I don't lose any trades. Um, but equally, Civ is a snowball game. It's really important for you to get that gold up front and do something with it than to just sort of wait around and then find yourself like not getting that. Like a little bit of gold now, snowballing will help you to be in a much better place than a lot of gold later. I hope, I might not get Sun Tzu, but I might get, if I just have a look at see at the generals that have gone, no Boudicca yet. So there is still one available for me. Oh, come on. Like, every time this warrior gets in the way, I was just about to sneak around and get that barb encampment. Oh, that city state is the worst. The absolute worst. Can I come through? Uh, 18 gold. You're kidding me. Ugh, three favor. Fine. That'll do. Geneva. A lot of good city state friends. If we can get enough envoys. I don't think this is going to be a heavy envoy game, being honest with you. But that is fine. Let's just quickly get this mine. That'll give me Everything iron working and also something else that I can sell. But just one or two swordsmen. Well, my, that could be enough. That could be enough just to turn the tide of this war. I've actually got two available right here. Purchase, strategic, iron. No, no. Kama has been using it all. They had a bunch, but they're just using it all at the moment. Bit of a problem. Never mind. Well, I can just go in and just go for the men-at-arms rush. It's not a bad strategy, to be honest. Um, it's likely to be as strong as anything else that I could want to do. Akkad, unfortunately, Nelly and... Yeah, that's the one I really wanted to stop myself from needing siege equipment. But I'll go masonry just in case. Just in case I need to get walls of my own. They do have a lot of galleys, to be fair. I didn't actually see any horses, either. There are some in Scotland, but not a huge amount for me. For a poor old Ursa. Oh dear, um, okay, that slinger is actually leaving this barb encampment. I might be able to get in. Oh, crossbow unit. I keep forgetting they keep changing. There's a swordsman for 215. So there are options up there, yeah. Big, decent options appearing now. What would be better, buying a swordsman or upgrading one? I think buying one, to be fair. Take all this money directly from the Mayans. And you know what? Sod it. I'm just gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's get that swordsman in quickly. There is also a luxury for me. I have two content cities now. They're not happy, so I don't get any bonuses from it, but they are content. And I just need a little bit more faith now to get Boudicca. Oh, the inner Norfolk boy in me is very excited about getting Boudicca, but I just need to, just need to push. Come on, you can do it, Ryan. Oh, the luxury, the luxury. I can just take all of the gold from the Mayans. That would be so good. I'm going to do it. As soon as I go to war, I get it back. And it wasn't giving me any benefit right now at all. So I think it's worth it. I could buy her luxury back. Uh, maybe that was probably the step to make, but it's fine. It's fine now. What was it? Crossbow for 430. It's a good upgrade, but it's not the one I wanted. Come on, anyone selling iron yet? Nope, no iron yet. It's fine. Bologna, how many is that? 305 gold. Oh, that's good. Oh no, they've got a religion of their own. They've got a religion of their own. Luxury, okay, though. right, that is more of a problem. That is more of a problem. That means we're going to struggle to spread it. Oh, they've also got warrior monks as well. Ugh, that's no fun. Okay, I think just a single missionary would do fine there. But look, that faith pattern. Oh, we missed Boudicca. Damn. Okay, right, that's fine. That that sort of just solves the problem for us, Ben. So we are not going to be able to spread it by doing this. So we go back to type one uh, strategy, which is to get a missionary and do it manually. We can even do it whilst we're at war, to be fair. That wouldn't be too bad an option. They've even built a handy road for me <laughs> from my land to theirs. I'm 
I mean, sure, thank you for that. That's very kind. I'm going to just flip to Maritime Industries briefly. Thank you so much. And now I can go for a galley in three turns, and that'll just give me the extra strength to come and take this city on. He may even finish a harbour for me, which would be pretty kind of them. It'd be very nice. Thank you. Do that. Do that more. Who are we going to have as our next governor? Ooh, I don't think we can choose anyone except from Pingala. We need that science, and we need it fast. Air is struggling, but Perth is our hub. It's our one and only hub, so just 15% extra science. It's gonna make a big old difference for us. And they might sling us, but they've left themselves open that barb camp, so we can go in and steal it. Hee 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 hee. What have they got in there? You have a grass for crossbow one. Nope. We're not gonna get that, so it's fine. Oh, for goodness sake. Preslav just did it. As I was about to come in, Preslav have just been the utter troll of me this entire game. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> exactly what they're doing. With this, that selling the iron to the cannons means that I can now go to Bologna and levy their units, which I'm going to do. Oh, this is such a risky strategy so early in the game. It really is, but I feel like we have good amounts of units here. It's just about whether or not we can we can do anything with them, but I mean, I think we can. We've got the element of surprise. It just depends on how tough their armies are. Okay, there's my galley. One, two, three. We have seen enemy galleys. Oh, goodness me, and the barbed galleys are still there. Oh, no. Okay, well, the galley spamming is not going to help. That is official. Temple of Artemis, we could try and get that, but we are kind of in the middle of a bit of a war here. So it's probably not the best thing to do, but actually, you know, galley spamming is going to have to do, because I'm going to have to get through these barbs at some point so that's probably the best way of doing it now the question is do i send the missionary in first and then attack or do i attack at the same time it's going to take a couple of turns to do it if i wait so if i go one so you know what i might as well just go and see what's going on here i'm going to annoy them but uh i'll spread i'll spread my my good vibes to them uh i'll take the di diplomatic favor which is very handy because then i can sell it immediately oh my goodness and oh now now they want to buy it for a lot okay this is this is handy yep okay it's a as soon as I saw the barb clans, I was like, terrible. Yeah, there we go. We're going to declare war. We're not even going to lie about it. I'm clearly up to no good. Don't trust me. Back into Perth with you. And now that we've got the crusade, we can move our swordsman in. Take the builder with two charges. Lovely. And swordsman the slinger to death immediately. Oh, yes, yes, yes. In come the warriors. In come the rest of the units. This barb is just like decided of all times to appear and do that now but i've got a warrior coming to deal with that so that should be absolutely fine and i think i get my luxury back in a second as well which should help just to keep my cities happy again even better here are the city state units arriving from the other direction just in order to basically pin them in korea hello nice to meet you now i'm hoping we can get some people to join in with this war that would be quite handy so we'll see if we can do that one um who has actually met the mines only the cannons okay do you want to join in it's quite a fun war you know you probably want to um oh they really don't want to how much have i got to give you to do this like everything i'd have and they still wouldn't do it how boring. That is a luxury that I could buy though. What does that mean for me? That would be, it could be a happy city. That would give me one more scientist point per turn. It, I mean, it doesn't sound exciting, does it? <laughs> Probably not for the best. What about this? Still, oh yeah, that's still the best deal I've got. So they've got themselves uh, heavy chariots. Okay, okay, that's interesting. But they don't have a huge amount of other high powered things. So they've got a lot of slingers like a lot of slingers um we need to watch out for that but i think i can probably hit the city to death pretty quickly because so i'm taking down some of the slingers for now that's good now i can get more units in and start to attack the city a bit more that's handy um i'm just gonna pull back i want that slinger to sort of come into my units a little bit more if i can help that and oh no this is not a good time kemens to be spreading your religion not a good time don't need that at all no thank you this house says no to unsolicited mail i've got the sticker on my front door okay respect that oh 60 60 faith Ooh, a lovely 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 what do i do with that um still saving up for a great general but it's unlikely to appear for now so they chose to attack my warriors those are good that's really good because luckily for me uh, i've got promotions from that now and i don't want buddhism if you start spreading that i'm going to be gently miffed <laughs> just very gently miffed mayans have 
16 population, okay? So I can see one city with three, which means four cities have 13 population. So if I take away three cities of a minimum of one, it means their capital could have anything up to 10 population. I'm just feeling in terms of pressure. You can see I'm putting a lot more pressure on the cities than their ones are. So I'm just trying to work out if I can hold this city if I do take it. I think I can, but it's always worth double checking. Okay, they're attacking, 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 but as long as they're attacking me whilst I've got Crusade, this is the time. This is the time to have the full-blown skirmish. Um, the barbs are still killing my galley, but not anywhere near as badly as once they were. This one's now got a little bit more health, and I can actually get myself this holy site up and going soon as well. Oh, they've even embarked their battering. Sorry, their heavy chariot. That is that is a mistake. That is a mistake right there. Full population on that city. Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to move this one. Three population in this city. Okay, again. Good, good. It's good to know where these things are. That's fine. Wait, this is their religious city, by the way. That's the religious city. Okay, so I've only got two charges. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of this with just one missionary. So I am going to have to spend the rest of my faith on a second missionary, but that's okay. That's what they're there for. I've also just treated myself to another swordsman. <laughs> nice. Rome. Oh, no. This is what Hadrian's Wall was for. Okay, Rome, Rome are okay. They're not too bad. Oh, that's the Congo swordsman. Oh, goodness me, that barb clan is a lot of fun. They're providing all kinds of good stuff. Okay, well, we're going to have to just rely on that one in a second. I'm going to sacrifice the slinger a little bit just to make sure that I've got a good attack on an embarked unit there. The swordsman's going to come through. We've almost got this holy site finished, which is awesome. I've got another galley as well. Even better. Okay, we're actually starting to generate a fleet now. Oh, that scout almost got my missionary. That would have been embarrassing if I'd left that one out. Oh dear, never mind. Um, the, yeah, the heavy chariots are a problem for me at the moment. So I kind of want to get spearmen going to stop those from giving me too much of a problem. So we'll start to work on those. I now have, I now have uh, enough gold and enough iron, sorry, to get myself another swords, uh, another sword a warrior. What am I looking for? Warrior is the word. So I'm going to use that as a good opportunity perhaps to take this city and act as a healing point and a staging point for me. I'm going to lose the crusade benefit. As you can see, it's loyal and follows my religion. So that's not a bad uh, option for me at all. In fact, actually, if I can get a builder in this area, that would be wonderful. I'm starting to spread my religion. There we go. We've already removed their religion slightly. And I don't think they have any other cities with their religion. No, they don't. Good. That's a good start. Everyone's denouncing me. Uh, I mean, that seems like a harsh thing, but never mind. <laughs> we, we don't mind, really. It's okay. Oh, the barbs have killed themselves on me. That's good as well. Okay, good, good, good. That means I can now finally get my galley out into the sea. It's their missionary down there. They are oh, being problematic. Okay, if I can get a warrior to kill the missionary... God, oh, that would be that would be a result for me. That really would. The one attack, two to get that slinger dead. I can get myself a bit more faith by attacking there. That's not too bad. So many slinger attacks. So many slinger attacks. Oh, it's just warriors I'm losing at the moment. But it's their plus five they've got. It's very difficult to defeat. Very difficult indeed. Um, their missionary did just kill itself though. So I'm wondering, do I just retreat now? Do I just retreat? Take the city and then just kill them. Oh no, they've got another missionary that's back, actually. I thought I killed their religion, but I have not. Man, if I had Vatican, that would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? I could just steal in, use a great person, bam. Everything follows me now. They're attacking, 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 attacking. Oh, oh, that was my heavy chariot. It just got bluntly attacked and destroyed there. Okay, never mind, never mind. My swordsman is trying to run away, but it's actually difficult to move fast enough to get away um yeah the units are just quick they are quick how many turns until i can make peace two turns okay we might be able to hold out for then thing is most of the units that are being killed at the moment are all the city states units that's the thing i'm not really losing anything that's mine it's all borrowed units so i don't necessarily mind too much here fez and preslav both wanted a uh, an archer actually it's probably worth keeping an eye on that Geneva wants another campus, some trade routes here. Kabul wants a catapult. Oh, don't we all? <laughs> don't we all want a catapult? That would be easy. They've picked up a catapult. Well, That's not too bad, actually. Catapults are just... They're tougher, but they don't do very much in the way of damage to units. So that's that's not too bad. 
this archer just give yourself a garrison okay now this is powerful now we're starting to get a couple of good units that we can defend with here that's awesome the swordsman is still retreating but it's doing okay it's getting away for now look at that look at that we've converted their city whilst being at war oh i think one of their missionaries may have just been killed i think uh, it's the only logical explanation I can put together, but that means we've now got Crusade in this city. They've got their Holt Chaser. Oh, those are deadly units. They are deadly indeed. They are the upgraded archers that can, I think it's plus five combat strength they get when they attack an injured unit. So that's, that's not very handy at all. We can make peace though. We can make peace and we can ask for a luxury in eight gold per turn, which I'm going to ask for a luxury in all their gold up front. One gold per turn. Nope, one gold per turn. Okay, but we did get the luxury from doing that, so that is awesome. Peace. That gives me a little bit of time just to level my units up and now to go and just make sure that their religion or all their, their cities are converted to my religion. So they've got a missionary, but I don't think they've got too many missionaries. That's the thing. So we should be able to hold out. I've also now got the opportunity to get a government. Now, Oligarchy gives me plus four combat strength on my swordsman. I'm thinking that's probably not a bad option for me. Next time I attack, I want to have like a line of men at arms ready to go and just go bump across the border. That's my aim. A good old fashioned bump. It's a very technical term that. In the meantime, I need actual resources. So let's go for camp. <laughs> let's go for a library. Let's actually build an infrastructure in my empire, you know? Should we go build a library? <laughs> You'd have thought. I've got uh, tobacco that can be upgraded. I've got a double olive resource. And actually, for now, unless I can get someone that gives me a governor quickly, no, I can't. I'm just going to have to flip Pingala to my captured city briefly, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. We'll, um, we'll get through. There we go. Our first little foray into combat not as unsuccessful as it could have been I'm, I'm happy with how that went this missionary i'm just going to keep an eye on that missionary because i do not want them to follow their own religion again dear oh dear how many charges has it got it's got three charges left that might be problematic so i'm going to have to immediately get myself another missionary and pull it down i do not want this spirit of rebellion uh, in in their lands it's, it's problematic that oh no that's a lot of missionaries Okay, okay, spreading this religion is going to be problematic. How did you get all those missionaries? You only have one city that follows your religion. Honestly. <laughs> okay, we're not going to be able to rely on this. I think apprenticeship is definitely the way to be going right now. If we can get apprenticeship sorted, yeah, that should be good. Nothing says angry like a men-at-arms rush. It really doesn't. It's just a wonderful thing to see. Oh, they've even got walls. Oh, bless them. That's, that's, that's novel. <laughs> I guess I better build a siege weapon. Yeah, I think I am going to get oligarchy. I was thinking about it for a little while, but that's the best thing for me to do. Get off this. Um, conscription. That's good. Googie. Let's go for general points or urban planning. These things are all very good. Uh, we'll go for, actually, first envoy counts as two. And then... Uh, where is it? Vatican City. That's again on the other side of them. It's wonderful because I've just seen Mayan vampires. That's no fun. <laughs> Ooh, we don't like that. We don't like that one bit. Plantation tobacco. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So we've got two amenities. Four and four. Have I got anybody that's still got? Let me say like this is the point where career actually I think it would be quite handy to have yours. Are you going to give it to me? Come on. You know you want to. There you go. I, they, they will give it to me for some iron. They're playing hard to get. I think it's worth it. Um, yeah, what was that? 16. Feels like a lot, but... Actually, no, 17. But it makes my cities ecstatic, which means that Perth is now generating three scientist points per turn and has a 20% bonus. And uh, no, a 30% when it's all added together for science and production, and then 20% on everything else. It really helps. Oh, they've snuck around, and they're going to settle in Scotland again, are you? Well, if your loyalty can stand it, you're very welcome to, but I don't think you're going to be able to hold on to that one, my friend. Well, at least I hope you won't be able to. Come on, we've got to get this religion out. We have to get this religion out. And finally, a very special shout-out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Glorious Petra, Davalex, Doughboy91, Skeptical Bear, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brown Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Nim, Amir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radio Toure, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support. Thanks everybody!